Hi Virgo and welcome back to my channel. My name is Renee and this is Behind Your Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me Virgo. Today's reading is going to be your weekly sun sign prediction from the 11th of April 2022. Guys, I hope you are well. Um, and yeah, if you're new to my channel, what I like to do is just do a quick three card spread for the week. Um, and that's pretty much it. We're keeping it short, sharp and shiny. So, oh, we've got your own card here, Virgo. Very nice. Let's get started on your reading and see what comes out. Angel Spirits Guides, Angel Spirits Guides. What does Virgo need to know? Thank you, Spirit. Okay, Queen of Swords. This is Aquarian energy. Knight of Wands, Sagittarian energy. And Page of Cups, Pisces. Overarching energy, Sagittarian energy. Again, Temperance card. All right, Virgo. So you've got the Queen, of, the Queen of Swords, the Knight of Wands, and the Page of Cups. Um, and then your overarching energy is the Temperance card. Let's start with this one first, because this is sort of your overarching message. The Temperance card is, uh, well, let's just start with the original meaning of the word Temperance. Um, the, the original meaning of the word Temperance was to abstain from alcohol, okay, to sort of live a clean life. It's kind of, you know, um, the the Alcoholics Anonymous kind of card, uh, if you like. But it's also about maintaining a sense of um, clarity. And I'm talking about alcoholism and clarity with this card in particular for this particular week because we've got a conjunction happening with Jupiter and Neptune and that's going into Pisces. And this is all water energy, okay? And Jupiter is the, is the planet of expansion and Neptune is the god of water. Okay, and they're both going into Pisces, which is a water sign. And we're talking about a balancing act here. We're talking about patience and moderation. So I feel that this week, uh, Virgo, you definitely need to just keep a lid on, um, you know, if you do enjoy a drink, like take it easy because there could be like a huge eruption of, of water flow and water energy here that is very much in alignment with what's happening um, from a planetary perspective. And the reason why I'm bringing up this particular astrological aspect this week is because this particular conjunction only happens once in every 166 years or something. Like it's it's really full on, okay? And um, so when it actually does happen, I think it's around the 14th this week, um, just be mindful of maintaining, um, you know, what what is the, 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 the veil between reality and, and illusion, okay? maintaining that patience and moderation especially when it comes to Sagittarian energy so if you have a Sagittarian in your life as well could be in regard to that person now Queen of Swords Nine of Wands and Page of Cups your Queen of uh, Swords here is Aquarian energy which is all about making decisions raising that sword here and being very direct being very logical speaking your mind being very clear in your intentions and what you actually want to communicate this week because it is very much all about um, making sure that you get your message across um, and but I feel like you're doing it essentially it's kind of like you're doing it on your own okay because the Queen of Swords here she can also indicate the widow but she can also indicate somebody who's very solitary um, and and having to call the shots or you know in the office if you're sort of not really supported or whatever you're kind of taking on a leadership role and you're actually trying to um, you know drive um, you know a team a team sort of dynamic or something and you're in you're in charge this week okay so it's all about making clear direct communication and decisions now in the center of your reading you've got the knight of wands um, I feel like there could be a restlessness about you this week Virgo there's a there's a need here for you to just sort of you know go out and adventure go out and actually um, you know explore and be the you know harness this Sagittarian energy. You've got two Sagittarian cards, which here, which is quite interesting. Um, but this is all about taking action on whatever it is you want to do. It's very youthful. You, you might be calling the shots here, but you're also just very sort of um, gung ho. I think that's probably the best way to describe this card. It's very gung ho, um, and creating a new path for yourself in terms of your passion projects, what you you know what you love doing. You know this is also about passion. So follow that uh, path. You're on the right track. Um, and as a result, you know, I feel like here there's going to be uh, somebody here or you, some sort of creativity here that you need to uh, focus on. Or there could be a declaration of love coming through for you. There's someone here offering you a cup of love. Um, this is water energy. This, this is Pisces, Cancer and Scorpio all rolled into one. 
But then there also could be a lesson here to be learned, a lesson here, a lesson of love, okay? So sometimes, you know, the, the cold-hearted decisions and just running away and doing whatever it is you want to do here, there could be a lesson here because the pages are all about scholars and being a, being a student. Um, and you could also just basically, as I said, have some lessons to learn about, um, you know, compassion and actually being, um, you know, offering that cup of love to somebody. You know, it's all good and well to be the decision maker and, and taking charge of things, but just make sure that you, you still replenish people with, with an offering. Um, sort of just something I thought I'd mention. Okay, Virgo, I hope you enjoyed the reading and you, and you got some value out of it. If you did and you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and you'll be notified of when I upload next. If you'd like a personal reading, please get in touch with me. My website is below, newangeltarot.com. And uh, I'll see you next time, Virgo. Have a great week. Take care. And bye for now.